Hi, this video will show how to automatically submit EDAM simulations for fast processing on the Altair Unlimited Cloud HPC via HyperStudy. EDAM simulations can be computationally expensive to process, but Altair Unlimited provides a solution to this by offering powerful hardware and efficient job management. We start on the top left hand side of this image with a study on our local machine using the EDAM HyperStudy connector. We submit jobs to the cloud for efficient processing, and once they're finished, EdemPy can be used for post-processing, or we can simply download back the files we deem necessary into our local machine for HyperStudy to read and collate. This workflow requires the installation of the EDEM HyperStudy connector, which can be downloaded from the provided link below. This connector enables the parameterization of different variables within EDEM, such as material properties, interaction settings, physics parameters, and much more. The variables can be conveniently controlled and adjusted through the HyperStudy GUI, enabling efficient design exploration and seamless execution of the simulations within the interface. In HyperStudy, we've set up a design of experiments, and in this case I am using the mixer optimization as an example, for which you can find more information below. Open the EDEM HyperStudy connector by clicking on the EDEM import button and then head to the preferences by clicking on the gear icon on the toolbar. In our profile section, select Alter Unlimited from local and then scroll down to its settings. Under download, we can specify the files we want to extract back to our local machine from the cloud. For this example, we want to save disk space and therefore we'll only download back the CSV file of our simulation date. Under Purge, we can choose to purge files on the cloud. Here, I want to keep everything on the cluster, so I'll leave it empty. Next, head to the SSH settings. Here, we'll specify the web address of the Altair cluster, as well as our login details. In Study Directory, will specify the path on the cluster side for which the simulations will be saved under. We can now scroll up and click the Get Application Parameters button next to the parameters. Here we specify the EDEM simulation parameters including its version, the time step, the total runtime, the write-out interval, the grid cell size, and the simulator engine. Any required batch flags will be specified under the extra arguments such as geometry replacement or query data export as shown here. We're now ready to submit the simulations to the cloud. Since the simulations can be run in parallel on the cluster, we will choose a multi-execution and click Evaluate Tasks to start the process. On the cluster side, we can see that these simulations have now been automatically submitted to the cluster and that they've started running. We can check their progress by going to Running Folder and opening the edemstdout.log file. Details of the progress can be seen by clicking the I icon. Once the simulations have finished, we can see that the data has been extracted back into HyperStudy for analysis. We can look at our Run folders and see that the results have been downloaded back and the simulation data has been left on the cluster like we specified 